Today was all about giving um, our fabulous talent in Victoria, our producers and our writers and, uh, and directors and whoever else may have been there, the opportunity to hear from Foxtel directly. I mean, we've got a uh, great uh, history of television in Melbourne um, across all genres and we want to see that continue to happen. So you're not watching uh, in, in this sort of traditional, you know, 4x3 or 16x9 TV anymore. These days you've got the iPad, you've got, you've got the tablets, you've got, you know, you've got all these ancillary and extra devices. So um, at Foxtel, we're not just a content provider, but we're actually still about the technology. So it's getting your head around that as a content maker is not only knowing when you will see your show on air, but also where it will appear. Okay, the take home for me is uh, it's all about rights and technology and understanding how they, they fit together. The technology drives the rights and uh, we've got to future proof our business going forward. Well, so A, it's always great to put names to faces and understand exactly who does what. Um, there's been a sense that the commissioning had slowed down so it was good to see um, what was moving now and I was particularly pleased to hear Ross talk about the interest in uh, comedy. What I hope people have taken away is an understanding of a major broadcaster in this country, how important they are to our, our uh, um, production industry in Victoria and also to see the human face of Foxtel. Uh, they're not scary people, they're flesh and blood like the rest of us and we just need to have a conversation and keep the conversation going. Victoria is obviously a major hub of creativity and Foxtel is absolutely committed to um, drawing out the best that we can from the local sector. Uh, look, for me it's about the point of difference, the difference between what the free to airs are doing and, um, and what is on offer from Foxtel. I think it was clearly explained and it's something that you take for granted a lot of times. So you need it sometimes to be told again and again as to how important that point of difference is and the opportunities that exist to create for program creators like myself to be able to have an opportunity to go in and at least pitch something that is a bit different.